Mark, I understand another thing you should not do when getting divorced is engaging in delaying tactics. Yeah, and I'm not going to say never that delay is not something that you ever want to do because that, that's not accurate. I mean, sometimes that can be a viable strategy on certain things depending on what the all of the issues are. However, one of the things that you need to understand, if you're going to get into delay tactics, and when we talk about delay tactics, the things I'm talking about are not, not responding to discovery properly. In other words, holding a bunch of crap back and making sure that people have to file motions for, motions to compel, uh, having your lawyer be difficult as far as being able to actually schedule times for hearings, uh, things of that nature, okay? You can do a couple different things in doing that. Eventually, you're gonna wear out your welcome with the court because of having to keep going down there more and more and more. You're also likely going to get hit with an award of attorney's fees for the other side at some point for doing that. So before you start delaying too much, make sure you understand what the possible ramifications are of doing that. Sometimes it's necessary in light of, let's say there's some investigation stuff that is going on that you need to try to delay for a while so that all that information can be gathered and it's being gathered from third party sources. It's not being get, uh, gathered from, you know, former spouse or current spouse or, or something like that. So there are lots of different issues that can come into that, but just be wary of it and make sure that you have discussed that thoroughly with your attorney. Good, good strategy comes home. Exactly. Absolutely. For more information, call Scroggins Law Group. Thank you much.